Anin, Bojo, Melody Crow and Dijnikaz, Alderville First Nation and Dunjaba. My name is Melody Crow, and I'm from Alderville First Nation. And for those of you who may not know who I am, I work for the KPR School Board as our First Nation Education Liaison. And one of the things that I love looking forward to every year is putting on our annual school powwow at Rosny Centennial. And so even in these very changing times, these challenging times of the pandemic, uh, where we've had to look at being able to still connect with one another in a very different way. And, um, and so through the support of our wonderful principal, Mrs. Dion Graham, and uh, through our community, uh, through those taking part in this and giving of their time, and through our wonderful Alderville First Nation Student Services, we are bringing uh, a very small little version of our school powwow to you through this video. And I'm really, <clears throat> really pleased about that. As um, in this pandemic, we've really, we really have had to come together in such a different way. And it's also taught us um, how many things we really took for granted in our lives as being normal and uh, how we, we miss those things. And yet at the same time, how we're having to learn <clears throat> to be able to still connect with one another in a very different way. So this, um, this video that's being put together uh, to share with you is to be able to still honor our school powwow, to celebrate that um, coming together, uh, to be able to share our very, very rich, beautiful culture with you, to be able to um, just highlight some of those things in this uh, short video. So as we do so, I really um, invite you to just enjoy this, to take it in uh, because it's being put together with with so much um, goodness from that real place of um, of good intentions of wanting to um, to lift uh, lift one another up, you know, uh, in these challenging times. And so I hope that um, as you uh, watch this video, that you'll be able to feel the heart, feel the heart of um, of the the powwow, uh, even through this uh, through this media. So chumigwach, chumigwach. Hello, bonjour. My name is Dion Graham, and I'm the principal at Rosanie Centennial Public School. I'd like to welcome you today to our annual school powwow. Although we cannot uh, gather physically today to celebrate, honor, and share our rich uh, culture, our intent is that we can do so virtually through this video. I would like to thank the students, parents, staff, and community members who contributed to this video. I would also like to thank Melody Crow for her guidance and support and to our Alderville First Nation Student Services for their technical support and hard work. I would also like to thank Julie Bothwell. It's a pleasure to have you a part of our school powwow again. If you're watching this video and you're from our school community, we hope that you are proud. If you're watching this video and are learning about our school community for the first time, we hope that you'll be able to join us for one of our annual school powwows when we are allowed to gather again. Miigwech, thank you, merci, and enjoy. One of the things that we do at the beginning of the powwow is we offer a smudge. We offer um, a smudge. In this uh, bowl is uh, just that sage, uh, dried sage, uh, the plant, that uh, medicine. Um, and uh, we, we use that to smudge and uh, we'll smudge those regalia that we're wearing, the traditional regalia. And um, what we do with smudge is we wave that over our heads like this for our thoughts. It's like a purification a cleansing, right? It just helps us to clear out those the negative thoughts or any of that sadness or any challenges we're, we're carrying in our thoughts. We wave it over our ears to be good listeners, you know, to really be good listeners. Because, you know, we're, we have that sense of hearing, but there's also a difference between just hearing and really being able to listen. We wave it over our eyes to help us to see things in a good way. We wave it over our mouth 
to be able to help us to speak good words. Even in sometimes when we have challenging times or maybe there's hard things we have to say, but to be able to be mindful of how we choose to choose our words over our hearts, of course, and uh, we can smudge, you know, like right over, right down to our feet. And so um, um, when, we've, when we've had the powwows at our Rosny School, I have gone out and smudged the whole area around where the children are going to dance. Um, and uh, just to make it a, a good space, uh, give it that extra positive energy, you know, that positive goodness. And, um, and so um, our language uh, really captures um, who we are as Ojibwe people. We are known as the Anishinaabe people. And even within the word Anishina, there's the word Nishin in there, Anishinaabe. And that's the word for good. It's like that good being, that good way of doing things. And so that's what, uh, how we do things. We, we do our best to do things in that good way. And so um, to smudge, I would give thanks. And I would say, Chimigwach Gjaminado, Ogi Nongam Iushkagishkak. Thank you, Creator, for giving us this new day. And to wave that, wave that smudge, wave that smudge around to the four directions, to Mother Earth, to Father Sky, Grandmother Moon, and Grandfather Sun, to give thanks, to give thanks for, for this day, to give thanks for, for being here, to be able to share. So I give gratitude for, uh, for being able to have the support to put this together, to share it with our school community. Very, very proud. I'm very proud of that. So again, Chami Gwach, a very, very big, big special thank you. Ahau. Bojo, Anin, Boche, Sego. Hello, everyone. Michiko Dan Bijiki, Quendish, Naka, Alderville, Nonjaba. My name is Julie, and I'm from Alderville First Nation. It is an honor um, to provide to you an opening, a welcoming to our 2020. Uh, June uh, 2020 Rosie Centennial Public School virtual powwow and um, I've been honored for the last uh, several years to be the MC at the powwow and I'm honored to be here today um, to welcome you to our uh, virtual powwow. We know that in this times, uh, these times it's very different. Um, we're in a, a time of a pandemic, um, an er a time, an era that um, are very um, you know, kind of um, different times for people. This is uh, June, Indigenous Month, um, and First Nations People, First Nations Solidarity Day, June 21st. I ask you to become more educated and take this time while you're home uh, to research more about Indigenous people and learn how to open yourself up and become aware. Miigwech and enjoy the virtual powwow. Naho, miigwech. Our eagle feather, as I'm wearing an eagle feather in my regalia, my outfit, um, that represents our fallen warriors. And so when we um, have items like an eagle feather um, fall onto the ground during a powwow, um, it, the powwow kind of comes to a halt. And we actually um, put tobacco down for that eagle feather. And it's to honor those veterans and warriors that have fallen in war. And we all know that we have so much to be grateful for. Our communities, Alderville First Nation and Rosemead, both have war monuments, and many communities do. We always encourage our young people and our families to talk about those war veterans and those war monuments, to honor our veterans, because we wouldn't be here today without their sacrifices and everything that they uh, gave of themselves. Some, many, many of Indigenous veterans and many uh, veterans 
gave the ultimate sacrifice, and that was their life, to never return back to their family or communities again. So we say miigwech to those veterans and those warriors, for those ones that are still um, being peacekeepers or in armies and marines and navies and um, you know fighting those wars and battles for our people so that we can live um, in a beautiful country and be safe and live in peace. Miigwech. Uh, you'll see that I actually wore my jingle dress today and uh, the reason I've done that is because um, I, I'm aware a little bit of the teaching that goes and I'm learning still about this dress. This dress is a healing dress and this dress uh, was worn um, over a hundred years ago for an actual um, influenza pandemic and so I'm wearing this dress to honor um, this dress and that it provides healing um, not only to me um, as a woman, as a dancer, but to my family, uh, to my community, to all nations. And so I gift you this dress uh, today for you to um, open this power and this gathering in this good way and that we provide healing and wellness across our land here, across Turtle Island, so that we can get through this time of this pandemic and um, just provide that healing to everyone. One of the things I wanted to just briefly mention as well as part of uh, the uh, school powwow is um, we wouldn't be able to have a powwow without the drum, without those drummers, those singers. Uh, and um, so I just wanted to, to teach you the word for drum. 
uh, in our language, our Anishinaabe language, Ojibwe language, is Dawa'igan. And Dawa'igan uh, really is that heartbeat. It's the word for drum, but it has that word heart in it, da. And, um, and so our drum, uh, it really represents the heartbeat of our Mother Earth. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things is to is to remember every single day the importance of that Mother Earth. And so as we dance, as we drum, as we sing, you know, it really connects us back to that land, to that mother. And um, and Mother Earth is, uh, is is something that we all share. And um, and it's about taking care of that Mother Earth and honoring her. So even through the powwow through our dancing and having fun and singing, you know, and hearing that heartbeat, it does connect us. It connects us to one another, connects us even back to our own self, to that heartbeat, but also, most importantly, to that mother of the earth. So I just wanted to share that with you as, as part of that, because when you hear the powwow music, right, there's just, there's different um, songs, there's different beats to those songs, but it all really connects us back to that heart. So Jimmy Grinch. Oh.